And it's no. that time. Well, welcome back. Many thanks to you very much as for that segment that he had together with the young lady. And of course, we get to move on swiftly. And of course, we get to talk about the art industry. Let me ask, have you ever been to the theater, the Kenya National Theater in Precise? So much has been happening. Well, from the days from long ago and up to date, we have seen tremendous growth. And right now, I'm joined by a great team of young men and women and a woman that is ready to talk about the acting industry and how it's thriving in the marketplace. Well, we are going to talk about the China invading the marketplace. Well, my name is Karanja Alex. Keep channel with us on Facebook, Twitter, and of course on YouTube, whereby we'll get to post these later on. Well, it's going to an introduction, Kwanza. Right next to me is you, of course, Jeffa. Thank you. Big girl, thanks very much for coming. Thank How you. does it feel being here? I'm very much humbled to be here. Uh -huh. It's my first time, and I hope it won't be the last. Mother, you can actor. You know, because I've got to manufacture a face like, you know, hey, nee, 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 nee. Uh, then within a span of a minute, you have changed the game, man. No, actu actually, uh -huh. um, I'm now in, in the interview mode. <laughs> yeah. Everything has changed. Yeah, the other side is the stage mode. So right now, I'm in the interview character. Just like how Basi. Right next to her, of course, we have uh, Kamela Zena. Yes. The name itself, it, it has its own uh, way of coming out. It's Kamela Zena. Yes. Are you from Kenya? Yes, born and raised in Kenya, oh. actually in Akuru. Uh, guys from Akuru, a very good morning to you. Many thanks for always staying to you. <laughs> All right. Let's have our next two. Of course, uh, we have Javan Baraza. Yes. Javan. Yeah. Is it Java or Javan? Javan. <laughs> uh, like an African. Kulingana kwenye CKCP yako ilitokea. Depending on your teacher. All right. Yeah. Many thanks, guys, for coming along. And I want us to talk about the art business and how it's emerging and how it's growing. Well, we have seen tremendous growth. We can say that. Can we attribute it to anyone? Yes, we can. Uh, you see the level of uh, the the the, mm, uh, the the level of stage plays being done in Nairobi and right. uh, Kenya. Mm -hmm. I can say that uh, it is that time that uh, the theatre is taking over. You're right. Yes, uh, you can just check on WhatsApp, on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. You won't find, you won't miss uh, a play that is being advertised. Yes. Can you attribute that success to anyone? Yes. Who is it? To us actors. <laughs> 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 of course, be, I know everyone has to, to be that, like Manze, we, we have really worked it out. But we have seen, uh, like, probably can come to you, we have seen quite a number of, of people saying that theatre is not paying enough. Mm, they, are not, uh, they are not wrong. Uh -huh. They are right in whatever they are saying. Uh, any job mm -hmm. will pay you according to the impact you make on the society. All right. Because uh, we are always reminded, uh, mm -hmm. if you want one shilling, impact one person. If you right. want a million shilling, impact a million people. So even in theater, we have companies which are doing well, mm -hmm. depending on their impact. But uh, what I can say is that uh, theater is paying. It's really paying. It's wow. paying. That's amazing. For, for us, uh -huh. we can't regret it. It's a path that we how, took. How long personally have you been in this industry? Uh, I can say from 2011 to right now, that's eight years. Wow. And it is what uh, puts food on my table. Mm -hmm enough food okay 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 uh, let, let me hear from zena is it paying enough uh personally well i've not been in the industry as long as he uh -huh. has been uh -huh. i have been the one who is on and off on and off but i know for most actors or most job opportunities we have to have we have to be multi you no know, tasking so you find maybe an actor like i personally am working so I'm still an actor on the side, but I'm doing my other job. So you'd find actors, normally you'd find a director who's still an actor, he's producing, oh. he's going to universities to train them. So actors tend to have like multiple talents cutting across just to make sure that they sustain themselves. So you can't just be an actor and survive on that alone. You have mm -hmm. to now gain other skills to be able to support yourself as an actor. So you're a part-time actor? Yes. How do you get to manage all these? Do you side hustles? It, it, is, it is tricky, I can tell you, but I'm fortunate to mm -hmm. have a company that has flexible working hours so I can be able to you know go to my nine o'clock uh, job and then leave at four come for rehearsals do my plays and everything else so I'm fortunate to have that opportunity wow that's amazing and I, and I want us to talk about uh, theater in general mm -hmm. and of course the acting industry and or rather the business itself mm -hmm. is it really thriving in as much as you'd be anticipating for it I'd say that uh, we are still not there yet we have so much to learn and it's a collective responsibility. I mean, we have to get the support and as ourselves, we have to boost each other and we have to support each other. Mm -hmm. Like I'd say, if I'm asked uh, what you're uh, you supposed to do with the acting industry, I'll say we create more workshops 
and that rests with the cabinet secretary and the government entirely. That is a spammy. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. When we bring in the aspect of the government, do you think the government has really supported in its full measure the acting business? The, I can attribute it to the Kenya Cultural Center. It uh, aided yeah. so much in um, the renovation of Kenya Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. But still, we are still not there yet. As per the support that they're giving us, we're still not there yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for, for at least for now, the government is doing its best? They're not doing their best. They're not doing anything? We are still appealing to them, All right. yes, to step up. All right. L looking at some of the things that people have mentioned, as I asked you all along, there are allegations that directors, producers, they don't pay the actors and actress as much as they get. How true is this? Mm, you must understand, first of all, uh, when somebody is putting up a show, it is a business. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we have those issues and which they are not mainly in theatre. In most businesses, you'll find uh, people complaining, I put this much and I'm not being appreciated. Mm -hmm. But I can say, uh, there are cases that have been there. Mm -hmm. To our side, this is our first show. The shows that I've done have not encountered such. Mm -hmm. But of course, it is <coughs> something, human being, human being is a human being. It is something that is widespread, not just in theater. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, I think people are comparing ourselves with what we are seeing in the outside world. Mm -hmm. When you go to maybe the developed countries like in America and UK, you'll find that actors, they earn more than even the film actors, oh, the, the stage actors. Mm -hmm. That is why even if when you look at Tyler Perry, he started with a stage act. Mm -hmm. And the stage act, they do tours and they get a lot of money mm -hmm. to now facilitate their film projects. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. L let me come to Zena. Zena seems to be so much excited about acting and the like. L let me ask you, Zena, have you felt a time like you felt like this thing is a business, yes, and I wish to quit the rest, then I can venture into acting? I think if I am established to the point where I see other actors are, it is a consideration. But for me, it's more of a passion. I don't want to, this is my personal opinion, like I don't want to make it a work that I'm waking up, I have to go do this. Like for me, it's a passion. It's something that I'm happy coming to every day. And I like the way it is right now, if it's mm -hmm. part time and doing that. But I know there's somebody who this is what they wake up in the morning, it's their bread and butter and it's everything. And I respect the people who do that as well. Mm -hmm. But also in terms of the payment thing, I also think that as producers and directors, mm -hmm. I think having a visibility and transparency among your team and production team really is key. Like if we sit down and we say, so this is what we're making, this is how we're going to distribute it, you know, let's talk about it. Help us market it, help us sell it, we make more money, you get more pay. Like mm -hmm. having that visibility within the team really helps so that it's not that I feel like uh, I'm very squeezed with the amount of money that I'm getting, if I understand exactly how much has been made from the production. Wow, Zena, you have mentioned so much about marketing, about the industry itself. Uh, and I'm prompted to ask this question. Do you think the acting industry is really marketing itself as much as it's anticipated? Look at Nigeria. Mm -hmm. we, oftentimes we find ourselves, you know, airing until when now the government came and said, now we need to have the local content being aired. Being aired. The question is, do you think we're marketing our, ourselves as much as it's needed? I believe those in the industry are trying, but you know we also need support from people who are not within the industry. We can't do it on our own. So mm -hmm. if we're the only ones who are trying to market it and we can't get the support from like our local Kenyan citizenship, then it won't be as successful. So you'll find, like I know I was talking to Jeff in the morning, and he was mm -hmm. like, why, are we, why do we keep singing international songs? Why can't we be singing our local songs? <laughs> like why can't we, like we preach supporting the Kenyan music, but we find internally, we, my playlist is full of international music. Like I'm not supporting local. So you see, in that kind of sense, I mean, uh -huh. I I believe we are trying internally as an industry, but we also need the support from other people. D do you think Kenyans, Kenyans are really into this business of watching local content? Do you think so? Mm, like uh, she has said, uh -huh. I was challenging her today morning. Uh -huh. We are doing a Kenyan production, yet we ourselves mm -hmm. are putting in songs that are not Kenyan. Oh, and I then see. we will want to blame uh, the, the audience for again watching stuff from outside the country. Yet even you in your own production that you are doing inside uh -huh. the country, you are having a lot of uh, anecdotes and borrowing from outside the country. Mm -hmm. So I want to say if a production is good, mm -hmm. it will not matter whether mm -hmm. it's, it's local or international. When a production is good, it is good. All right. Yeah. Do you think we have, uh, we are creative enough? The creativity is there. 
mm -hmm. but uh, I'll say that the, also the implementation is another thing. Mm -hmm. But the creativity underground, it is so much there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you think creativity is really at its best? Yes. And, uh, well, uh, we are still trying. We are still trying. We are still trying. But we have heard people say that local content is not to the level that we anticipate. It's because the, uh, I'll, support, uh, I'll support them, they mm -hmm. have a point, mm -hmm. but when you're creating something, you know your target audience, yeah, you have to get to that level at which the, they are understanding you, that they can mm -hmm. be able to relate to you and uh, they can be able to relate to themselves in a day-to-day -day mm -hmm. basis. Yes. All right. L let, me, let me come to you, Zena, again and ask, are really young men really ready for this because you really see most ladies into this? I, I believe they are. They like, are? In our production team, the women are very scarce. Because we, 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 we have gone to the theater, we have seen these happen oftentimes, even in the media industry, you hear people say like, you know, young ladies or other ladies have been so much absorbed in the industry. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? Like, ladies are more in mm -hmm. the industry in than the In the industry the more than the man. Really? Yeah. And then I guess it depends on the situation that uh, It's is. like, you know, mm -hmm. you're on side hassles. Mm -hmm. Yet, the, the guys, like, he's, a, he's in full time. Yeah. And then and he's butter. giving it to the best. Mm -hmm. Do you think there are men who are ready to give it full time? Yes, I've, I've seen so many, like I know so many uh -huh. who give it full time. Yes. So they are really into this business. Yes. All right, let's talk about, you're you staging a play? Yes. Yeah, you seem too aggressive for this. Yes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So we are stating a play. Mm -hmm. uh, the title is known as Chain Ha China. Okay. Chain Ha China. Yes. Wow. Okay, what's Chain Ha? Because I'm trying to understand that the, there's the chaining part of it and uh -huh. there's China. Mm -hmm. Who is chaining who? The Chinese are chaining us. All right. As Kenyans. Yes, as mm -hmm. Kenyans. So we are talking on bad governance. Mm -hmm. We are talking on uh, the loans that are being uh, that we are taking, mm -hmm. and we are talking about how they're infiltrating our marketplace. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you think they are flooding the marketplace? They are flooding the marketplace. Already in China, mm -hmm. they, are, they are overpopulated, and right now they are flooding. <laughs> up. So you can they're just coming together the, now. Yes, you yeah. can just imagine the situation. Mm. Yes. Probably just to ask, why would you stage such a kind of? Do you think it's According to the ethics, it's right for us to do this? It's like, uh, uh, I'll say, art is like a reflection mm -hmm. of what is happening. So we are, we are, as I said earlier on, we are relating with the Monanchi on a day-to-day -day basis. We are bringing it on a humorous way, in a sarcastic way, but most importantly, we are teaching them a lesson and we are showing them, as per the situation right now, that is what is happening and mm -hmm. what should we do about it. Right. Yes. So w the act is all about sensitizing the public yes. of how the Chinese are invading the marketplace. Uh -huh. Are you bringing on board some of the things that we need to be focusing on in terms of remedying this particular situation? In every problem, there has to be a remedy. Yes. But we are what we are just what we are doing. We are imparting them. We are showing them that this is the situation as per now. Mm -hmm. So what should we do about it? We leave for you to decide. All right. As the main actor, what's your role? My name is Javan, uh -huh. and I'm doing Javan. You're okay, you are Javan <laughs> playing Javan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, what's your role there? I'm the son to the governor mm -hmm. of uh, that, uh, that uh, the, county. The, the, it is not Nyorobi. Right. I'm the son to the governor, the governor who took the loans. Uh -huh. yes. So Nyorobi is okay, sir. <laughs> symbolic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm caught up in between uh, the, the mess. Mm -hmm. um, I have to listen to my father, and yet I have to listen to the people of Nyorobi. So I am stuck. Yes, I mean like a juxtaposition. Don't don't give everything. You know, don't give everything here. No. People people uh -huh. have to be left in suspense. So as you know, they need to show up on that particular day. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you part of it? Let, let, let's let's see. What are you doing, Zana? Yes, I am. Uh, in the play, I am a Chinese engineer. Did I tell you that? <laughs> you from abroad? You see? <laughs> okay, you're the queen treating the marketplace. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I am the Chinese engineer. So I'm kind of the assistant of one of our Shylocks. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is bringing the Chinese into Nairobi? So you're one among the people who are bringing in the Chinese. Yes, and making business. <laughs> Should we limit you from doing business? <laughs> no. <laughs> for you, it's, it's a never thing. Yeah, because I'm now continue. here to survive. Basically, I've been stripped from my country. I've come here to, to make a living now. Do, do you think Chinese are, are, are running away from the country because it's not working for them? 
Probably. I, I think it depends on the situation that it, that is there for that particular person who's mm -hmm. coming. If they're coming in from as being a prisoner, being overcrowded, being so many things. So when they come here, you see there's land of, basically we call it the land of opportunity. Exactly. We've seen the same even Kenyans living for Qatar, Dubai, mm -hmm. such yeah. kind of stuff. And see, they're thriving over there. We can say mm -hmm. a quick number of people are thriving over there. So I don't know, probably. We will get to see how it goes because I believe it's the same. And we have seen even other people saying like, you know, do, do you think the issue of Denny is the, is the reason to why China's are infiltrating the marketplace? Mm, partly, yes. Because uh, we are indebted to them. <laughs> uh -huh. So anything we do, they keep on reminding us. You see, even yesterday there was a, a new segment mm -hmm. in Mombasa where the locals were demonstrating. Of which know. we have seen in the past yeah, few days. they were demonstrating. Mm -hmm. And also a news feature whereby uh, in Atluzuli mm -hmm. Avenue, there was a, a Chinese who was sending money to any bank for free. God. Yet mm -hmm. as a Kenyan entrepreneur, mm -hmm. your microfinance or your business will have to be taxed. Mm -hmm. But them, they are sending it for free. And I was with one of the Chinese, uh, no, not the Chinese, one of the local fish traders. Mm -hmm. And the story she gave me that uh, when they bring their fish mm -hmm. to this market, mm -hmm. they come in form of fingerlings. When they leave China, they are mm -hmm. in fingerlings. So by the time the consignment arrives in Kenya, mm -hmm. they have matured. So that's why even their, their fish is cheaper. Wow. You even find uh, Magufuli refused mm. more loans from them because you find the, the stringent measures that they put to you. If you fail to pay mm -hmm. this loan, this mm -hmm. what we will do we'll in order for us place. to recover our money. Mm -hmm. So they have been given a free will to do anything that the ones importing the mitumba cloth, mm -hmm. then for us, the local traders, they block yours. Mm -hmm. So they sell theirs first. After they have sold, it's when our leaders swing into action, mm -hmm. telling you that, no, we <coughs> have resolved the issue. Yet basically, they've already right. sold their stock. Yeah. I, I don't want to dwell so much to China and our relation. Let's talk about chain her China. Why, why these, why chain her China? Why that topic? Well, it's symbolic. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. I'll say that uh, it is. Uh, it, uh, it. It is. Um, let me look for a specific word. It is what is happening right now. Mm -hmm. It is what the country is undergoing. Yes. It is what. It is the problem and the solution. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is them and us. So we're trying to relate. Yes. All right. The, you see, so some of the things that, you know, I love acting. It's one of the things that really inspires people in event, mm -hmm. event to see we have, there are things that we can solve by ourselves and the things we need to address within ourselves. And if we were to look at the acting industry, over the past few years, as we began by saying, it has, it's really booming up. It's really growing, you know, absorbing quite a number of people. And it's not like back in the days. You know, back in the days, we used to think, like, if you fail theater, Anguka, if you fail G Fine Anini, we have seen people even venturing into academic stuff and still they are actors and actresses. W why do you think people are thinking of these two avenues? Two avenues of? Acting mm -hmm. and still being academics. Because I don't believe acting should be the stopping point. Mm -hmm in anyone's life. I don't think education still has to go on. You still want to develop yourself further and further. And where I'm from, like entrepreneur is something really, really important in terms of creating employment. So in as much as I'm building my passion in, in acting and doing all these other things, I still need to grow myself mm -hmm. in, other, in other areas. Because if by chance, let's say not everybody, some people step out of the industry at some point or you retire or something of the sort, you'd also still want to have a background in something else. Or even if you have kids and they're growing up, you don't tell them that there's this, this there's two ways you can choose. You can mm -hmm. decide to do this or this, or you can do both of them. It's just upon you as a person and what you're willing to do. All right, Jefferson, we have seen quite an increase in uh, unemployment in the country. And of course, we have seen you know, retrenchment happening. Okay. Do, do we people join acting because of money or it's a passion? Even then, it's like, I need, to, I need to comment on that. <laughs> no, OK, personally, uh -huh. I'll refer you to one of the Chinese billionaires. I don't know if it's Chinese Jack or Japanese. Yeah, Jack Ma. Jack Ma. Mm -hmm. Jack Ma said in one of the interviews, we need to change the way we are training our children. Right. We need to train our children in their abilities, in talents. Because I can tell you right now, even most accountants are losing jobs because we have softwares. So in an organization where we had an accountant, then we had a, a BASA, then mm -hmm. we had somebody. 
Now that job is being done by one person behind a machine. But you see talent, for example, singing. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take it away from you. Mm -hmm. As we are seated here, and even the cast members, our director is a lawyer. God. Personally here, he's also study, he has studied law. I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we surrender. Uh, <laughs> I, I, did my, uh, I did my degree in journalism. Okay. And even a master's in communication. But art is me. Mm -hmm. Which still relates to what the course that you do. It still relates to mm -hmm. the course that I do. So about unemployment, the reason why we are experiencing that is because we are not training people on their abilities. The fact that I can be a news presenter, but at the same time, I sing in a band. Sure. You understand? That mm -hmm. is why even the government has noticed that and they're bringing in a new system, the CBC. Mm -hmm. So at so least... In support of CBC already? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it will help. It will uh, help in future. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if it's happening now, mm -hmm. the retrenchments and everything. Mm -hmm. So picture it, your children, 20 years to come. All right. From that, Jafar, there's the discussion of nurturing character and creativity. As, as a country, have we really nurtured this? We have. We have. We have nurtured because even the talents that we have, we got it from school. Mm -hmm. How far are we in terms of nurturing? Mm, not yet there because mm -hmm. the perception has, hasn't been there. Our parents were used to white collar jobs. Okay. <laughs> yes, true. Yes. Okay, let's hear from you. Uh -huh. No, true. Like when I told my father if I would be interested in doing acting, like after my high school, he was like, are you going to be a famous actress when you finish high school? Will you go to Hollywood? I was like, no, th that won't happen immediately. But see, for him, his mentality is you need to study books. That's something you'll get a job. So I did IT with the hope of getting, you know, becoming some software engineer somewhere, creating my own job employment. Not that that has not happened. <laughs> but like that uh, is the case. Like for them, such things as passion were not really a focus. For mm -hmm. them, you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer. You have to be an engineer, you know, key things. For them, this they didn't consider something. Is, is passion, is passion uh, a prime concern in our generation of the day because it's, it's a matter of money and nothing else? You know, recently <laughs> I was uh, teaching some uh, children and so I was asking them what they want to become when they grow up. Most of them were focusing on their talents and their abilities. Like they, some of the kid told me that uh, they want to become a footballer. Mm -hmm. Another one told me they wanted to join the army. Mm -hmm. Another one told me they wanted to become a singer. So right now, as wherever, when, where, where we are going, mm -hmm. it is all about passion. It is something that you're doing when you are happy. You know, personally, I cannot sit in an office from eight to five. I have that weakness, but I can. And then I like what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can rehearse the whole night and the whole day. Because for the skills, yes, mm. because it is what I find happiness in doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And do you think high schoolers are up for this? Because we find that most of us we get to realize who, what we want to do while staying in high school, even in primary school. In high school, that's when we get to see this. Is what I really now want to venture into in terms of our passion. Do you think it's time that we get to go to high schools and tell them it's time now? It is time. It has always been time mm -hmm. because when you look at the participation in drama festival, music festival, the sports. It has always been time. Mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is now just a matter of emphasis and seriousness. Uh, our schools, probably, uh, Zena, our schools, do you think schools are growing young men and women? I, I believe some of them do have the culture of growing mm -hmm. young men and women. Uh, I, I, unfortunately, my high school didn't do much of the drama and mm. all that, but I was growing other talents. Group For me, schools. I started, no, no, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I started acting when I was in primary school. Uh, so that's when I discovered I loved acting and all that. Mm -hmm. So later on, you see, different phases of my life, different environments either expose mm -hmm. me to it or take it away from me. So unless somebody ex makes you aware of it, and that's why I love Apex Production, because mm -hmm. they're trying to have an unconventional way of impacting the audience mm -hmm. and making sure that they understand what is going on. So they're trying to create awareness rather than you sitting in a classroom and being told, so this is what the government is doing, this is what is going on in Kenya, this is what the child... No, it's just making it more theatrical, because mm -hmm. there's some of us who prefer coming to watch a play, and I'll pick something from that play and go back. Oh, what was that about? So they're trying to provoke thinking and also create awareness. Wow, you know, you, with what you've said about the government and young people and the like, I'm probably to ask, to ask a question, but from then, let's talk about the topic of discussion and what we're heading now, the play itself. Where is it supposed to take place? Mm, the play is taking place at uh, Visa Oshwal Junior High Auditorium mm -hmm. on the 30th. 30th of December, November. Of this month, All right. of November. Mm -hmm. We are going to have two shows. Mm -hmm. The 3 p.m. show, mm -hmm. from 3 p.m. to 6, 
then we'll have another one from six to eight. All right. Yeah. All right. How much is the ticket? Probably you can hear from the main man. <laughs> For uh, at the gate, uh -huh. you will be paying a thousand bob, mm -hmm. but for the early birds, the advanced tickets mm -hmm. are going for 700. But then, if you are still a student at high school, at campus, maybe at primary, you Masters, never know. Uh, student. You master's <laughs> as long as you're a student, <laughs> as long as you're still learning, uh -huh. you can come with your student ID, All right. and the ticket will be going for 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so Suji, come out to Napata, but it's okay. We can still do some good wrap up, and we call it a day. Probably, l l let me probably hear from you uh, and ask: As you're wrapping up, do you think we are doing best as an industry? We need unity uh -huh. for us to prosper. Mm -hmm. With the moment that we realize that we are all actors riding on the same boat, that is when we'll grow. Uh -huh. For those who are out there, talk of Edigadegi, talk of Lupita Nyong'o, mm -hmm. we still need them here. To hold our uh, to hold our hands, uh -huh. yes, for us to be united as one. That is when you can face anything. All right, so we still need Lupita and the rest back home. Back home, uh -huh. yeah, for us to be united, and also for us who are still here in Kenya, uh -huh. we still need to be united so much. Let us not let us be zealous in our nature. Mm -hmm. Let us uh, focus on the main goal, and that is to impact the society. All right, let's have Zena, please. I would like to offer you a complimentary ticket. <laughs> Everyone watching at home to Patan Emilandani in Doyen, I come through. So anyway, it's always good, Mazai, you know, when you're doing these brands, it pays off. And uh, big up, big up. Yeah, from the CEO himself. Thanks so very much. <laughs> so uh, 700 Nivo. I'm done with it. And someone else is, is like, maybe Pia. And I'm like, no, this is only for the one who did the show. <laughs> and he called it a day for the moment. Mm -hmm. Let's see, probably a parting shot from her. Then we come to you right away. Okay. Come for the show. <laughs> it will be worth a while. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it myself. I have a very wonderful production team, and we'll, you'll be seeing more great things from us. I'm hoping to see you and China doing best. <laughs> Let me have you wind up. I just want to take it from her. Mm -hmm. Come for the show. Come, laugh. At the end of the day, think about what we've told you at the end of the show. You are all welcomed. All right. Yeah. That's it. We call it a moment for that segment. Of course, it's always a pleasure, as always, to have you. That has been well, the acting business and, of course, the art industry that is booming in the country. My name is Karanja Alex. Very more comes up next. See you. Thanks. Woohoo.